Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, every now and then I do a video on somebody else's find. Of course, they get full credit for this. Um, this particular find is uh, from Jim West and he posted this on Mars Moon Space Facebook page. And I'm gonna give you guys the link to that because I'm gonna tell you what, these guys do a great job, they got great eyes. Uh, they're really finding some fantastic stuff and you guys might wanna jump on there and have a look if you got Facebook. And that's the key. And this is the reason why I make YouTube videos of these because a lot of these people don't have a YouTube channel. Therefore, they cannot show people like yourself and vice versa. A lot of, a lot of times you guys don't have Facebook page, so you're not going to see it, right? This is the reason why I try to bring these out for these guys because I think they deserve uh, the recognition and at least some of the stuff that they're finding. Okay, let's jump into this because I want to show you this. Again, this is not my find. This is from Jim West. You can see it here on the page. And it was posted again, Mars, Moon, Space. What he found in here was really awesome. I mean, good eye on this, Jim. Uh, great work, by the way. Um, he found this here. And then he's got this objects in the back, which he hasn't lodged here. Um, just cool stuff. I mean, so what we're going to do is we're going to enhance what he's found. Because if I'm going to go back and zoom into this. Right here, you can see what looks like this still white underneath this dirt. See that? So what I try to do is bring the whole thing out, and there's something else I notice in this photo that also, to me, shows intelligently made. Let's get into that. All right, so again, we're going to jump over here. This is where you can find this, and I'm going to give you the link to this as well. This Gigapan was made by Zelenly Caught. I could be butchering that. My bad. I didn't mean to do that if I did uh, butcher your name, but thank you very much for putting this pan together. And you can see right here it says Garden City Mars Curiosity's Panorama at Salt 930. Now, the other one Jim put on there is 929. It makes me believe that maybe it's both days, right? And by the way, once we're done looking at these particular little small anomalies, I'm going to pan back out and I'm going to ask you guys an important question because this is kind of weird and, of course, you guys can always weigh in, right? All right, so let's jump into Photoshop. Now, what I do is I made this more natural color um, and we're going to just pop that right now and make it larger. There we go, and boom. All right, this is what I find really interesting. Now, this little piece here reminds me of some kind of little medallion type thing right here. I don't know, you know what you guys think about that, but that to me is just bizarre. I also found this to be pretty amazing, this item right here. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but check this out. It appears to do this. Let me go ahead and use the other tool here the brighter one. This thing does this here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it goes like this. It appears to do this. And it has what looks like this square piece sitting on top. Or something that looks like that. But not only that, it has a slot in it. Okay? And right here, in this end, it appears to have a different color, like a lighter color. If you guys can see that. But right there, at the very end of it, it has this other color. So what I try to do is enhance this and to bring that more out and try to bring out the whole object, kind of like this uh, medallion piece, if you will, right here. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is just show the full enhancement, what I did to try to enhance this whole thing and these objects, this object here, as well as these in the back. Again, this object is pretty crazy too. Let's do this. All right, so this is what I'm seeing through the other, you can see the other stuff that was over this, and that may just very well be dirt. Or it was something they did, NASA or their uh, CGI department, tried to hide it um, to make it just look like a little piece of a stone. But interestingly enough, you can see what looks like these weird striations. See this one, two, three, four? has these weird lines and these designs to it, like this here, a center, almost like a perfectly round center to it, yeah, guys, this doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, something natural. It could be. Don't get me wrong. It's not out of the question, of course. Look, you got this right here, like a point here. Well, it looks like it has a point on this side, and we can't see the rest of it, so we don't know. And again, we've got this right here. Now, this may be caused by, and I don't know if you guys can see this or notice this, but the way the sunlight is coming down, and it might be just this part here is a little bit lit, uh, right on this side coming down or 
going this direction here, it's kind of hard to tell because I don't see anything else in this area that's brightly lit like this area. See, like the one on the left and the lower bottom right here. You don't see it in that. You just see the bright sunshine in there, but not in there. So this is what led me to believe that this thing is much more than that. You know, it's you can see the way it's got a slot right there, like I said. And you can see it looks mechanical or intelligently made object, as well as this here. And again, this has got this weird looking object like this. Kind of looks like it's got this docker piece right here. I'm not sure what that is. But again, we've got this piece here. Does this. Again, we've got these weird... Well, not that way. Again, we get these weird striations. Or these weird lined objects or features on this said item. And again, we don't even know what this is down below. It could be just mechanical. And because of the shade, we just don't see it. We can't make out what it is. We can only try to lighten it up. And see if we can bring out the actual, um, you know, details to it. All right. What do you guys think about that so far? Now, I got another question for you. This is what I was talking about. All right. Let's back out of this particular photo. Let's get it to center. All right. Let's back out because I want to show you this. These anomalies are supposed to be stuck in this salt brines. And basically all it is is at one time there's a lot of salt water. And this, this salt deposits were just left behind, right? This is what I found. I looked online just to see what the uh, salt brines would be here on Earth, right? And you can see right here on the lower bottom of this photo, you can just see the different shapes of these salt brines. See that? They can be almost like a triangular. They can almost be like a square. Uh, never perfectly straight, but meaning a perfect, you know, uh, rectangle, right? In other words, not absolutely perfect with 90 degree corners. This is what I found weird about this. Maybe you guys will agree. Maybe you won't. What I found was up here. Check this out. Look at the way these things come down like this over here, come down here, has this nice radius turn to it, come straight out, and look at the way these things are made. Now, it looks to me like they're made. This is the reason why I said that. Uh, is it possible it's more than that? Maybe it was something that was structured, and it's not very big, guys. Whatever this area is, I don't give it but five, six feet tops and width in the whole swath of this area. Um, I mean, the whole total area. You can see right here it's got some thickness to it. It almost looks like some kind of, like almost like a, like a concrete, if you will. Um, but it could very well be some kind of salt brine. Let me show you another area I found was pretty weird in here. And it's in this cluster. Check out the way these things, it's almost like they were compartments. See that? Right here. It looks like a compartment type thing. Nice 90 degree angles, perfect, no problem. Uh, now, some people have speculated that there is actually tiny people, or were, or are tiny people on Mars. Is it possible these are like small structures? I I've never seen that, so I can't say yes to that, and um, I don't know. Uh, it's a good possibility, right? All right, this is what I find a little strange, too. Check the way these things come down. Goes across over to here, and again on the here. But this, to me, was looks like a quarter to almost half a circle. Why do I say that? Well... Let's zoom into this. Now, check out the way this thing continues on, but it's eroded. It goes like this here, comes around, and you can see the thin line where this thing was still. At one point, it goes down to about here. And you can see the line goes all the way, back a little bit, all the way around to here. To me, this thing was almost a, a whole circle, and this thing, these things would meet in the middle. But look at the way these, they look constructed to me. Here's another one. Looks like a big pizza slice right here. Check out the way this thing does this. Comes all the way down. Boom, right here. Comes straight down, goes to here. Comes right down to here. Almost like a perfect triangle, right? But then check this out. Goes like this. Boom, hits this and continues on. It just seems like it's more intelligently made than it is a natural phenomenon, right? Now, I'm not saying it can't be because nature can do some real wild stuff, right? But... I don't know. I'm seeing like perfect 90 degree angles. I'm seeing like, like I said, in this, I'm going to use it like box type thing, right? Perfectly like that. What do you guys think about that? Look at this. Again, almost like a triangular shape. It goes like this. And the back comes out over here. And you can see like it's crusted here on the side, but then in the middle, it's got this white area. Just some of these things, if you look around, here's back of those little anomalies. One there. One here. Okay, 
It looks like something's sticking out right here. See that right there? Goes over to here, comes back down. The other side comes over to here, and it looks like a piece sticking out. Again, there's several more right here. St sticking straight out. What could those be? Again, it may very well be natural, right? Um, but I find it a little bit odd because the way these things are shaped, like this here, again, perfect 90 degree angle, boom, boom, and then comes back down. Now, again, we can look at that other photo, and I can see what looks like these things can have some wild shapes to it, right? And to me, that could very well be natural. But I'm not seeing, like, I mean, I guess you can see right here, it's got some, they're not as sharp. See the way they look kind of sloppy, even though they're making corners? They can be sloppy, but they don't look like these do, where it actually looks perfectly shaped. But of course, you guys weigh in. Let me know what you think. That's what this channel's all about. Let's weigh in, see what we've got, and go from there. So I don't know. You guys tell me. What are we seeing here, guys? Is this nothing more than natural? Or is it something more? Or do you believe it's intelligently made? All right, guys, I got another interesting one coming up, and it might have to wait until the new year. And it's something I think I covered before because I know I did a video on this, but nonetheless, to me, this is absolutely intelligently made. And when you see the way these things, these features are on this anomaly, you're just going to go, whoa, there's no way that nature could do something like that. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Again, we might have to wait for the new years on that, but don't worry, we're going to still be banging these things out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Just remember to like, share, and throw your comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Anyway, guys, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one.